Well, the U.S. Army's modular handgun system competition is over, and the real winner is the pistol consumer. These pistol trials put on by the government force firearms manufacturers to innovate and come up with new and better designs. While the government will only award their contract to one company, all the companies involved usually release their pistols to the public to recoup some of the R&D costs. Any pistol capable of competing in these trials has to be of top quality, reliability, and durability. These trials have brought the consumer many great firearms over the years, and the new Beretta APX is a superb example of this. As always on this channel, we've put a thousand rounds through this pistol to get a real good feel for it before we bring you a review. And first off, I can say that it has been 100% reliable through all 1,000 rounds. We also fed it all kinds of different ammo, from good factory stuff, to reloads, to Winchester white box. It just ate it all up without a single malfunction. Also, we did this without a single cleaning, right from the box to the range, I can say that the APX is extremely reliable. So next up, let's talk about the slide, since it's usually the thing that stands out the most when you first see the APX. These slide serrations give the APX a very unique love it or hate it look. These notches cut into the frame are actually very usable slide serrations and they work great. You can grab the slide at any point and rack it or press check it. They give you a very positive grip on the slide and work extremely well. I have to admit, at first I wasn't a huge fan of these, but after shooting the gun for some time, I absolutely love them. They work better than any other stock slide serrations available on any other gun that I can think of, and they kind of remind me of what you would get from a custom milled slide. Next up, let's talk about the grip that is nothing short of spectacular. I guess what stands out the most to me is how slim this thing feels. You'd almost think it was a single stack with how slim this thing is. But don't think that Beretta skimped on the capacity with a slim grip. This thing is just barely larger than a Glock 19, yet has 17 round capacity. So basically you're getting a full size capacity in a compact size gun. Also, the floor plate of the magazine is enlarged and the frame is recessed so that should you need to, you can rip the magazine out in case of a malfunction. The grip has a nice undercut at the trigger guard and is extremely slim at the top where the web of your hand wraps around the gun. There's also some subtle finger grooves, good stippling, and has interchangeable back straps if you want to customize the grip some more. Changing the back straps is easy. You take the slide off the gun and move this tab to the side and down, then pull the back strap off. Put the back strap you want on and reinsert the bar. This gives the back strap a very secure mounting system. I would say that the next most impressive thing on the APX is the trigger. The trigger is very good, has a short take up, crisp break at about 5 pounds, and a short positive reset. Also, if you move this drop safety back, you can see that the trigger itself is flat. It is said that flat triggers have a more uniform feel and allow the shooter to put their finger lower on the trigger itself, giving the shooter better leverage on the trigger, making the actual pull weight feel lighter. All I can say definitively is that I'm really liking this trigger quite a bit. It's a great trigger for a service pistol and way ahead of the majority of the APX's competitors. The 
APX also has ambi slide releases and the mag release can be flipped to the other side for lefties. The sights are good and have a very usable three dot setup. I also really like the fact that they are made of metal and the rear sight has a nice ledge on it in case you need to rack it off your belt or something like that should you need to. Disassembly is easy and can be done with or without pulling the trigger. First, push in on this pin, rotate the lever down, pull the trigger, and the gun falls apart. If you want to do it without pulling the trigger, pull the slide back just a bit and take a punch or a bullet and depress this button until you hear a click. This deactivates the striker. Once you do that, let the slide go forward, push in on the pin, rotate the lever down, and the gun comes apart like magic. I've heard a few people complaining that they think this is difficult, and I just have to say that they are plain wrong. I think that this is simple, intuitive, and I don't know how many people want that disassembly without pulling the trigger feature, but this design is way better than some others that are available. The Beretta APX is also a removable chassis gun similar to the SIG P320. That means that the serialized part is the chassis that comes out of the gun easily by removing the takedown lever. Then you have to lift this small spring out of its retaining notch. Drive out this pin. and press the striker deactivation button as the chassis comes out. It's not as simple as the P320, but it's really not difficult, and changing the frame probably isn't something you'll be doing often. Then you can put your chassis in a different color frame, which are already available and way cheaper than a Cerakote job. Beretta may also have more frame options available in the future as well. Okay, so let's take a minute and make some comparisons to other pistols. First off, triggers. The winner of the Modular Handgun System Military Trials is the SIG P320, and on my gauge, mine pulls at a very smooth 6.5 pounds. Everybody is usually very familiar with the Glock 19 and pretty much is the standard all new pistols are judged by, and on my gauge, the Glock is pulling at a fairly gritty little under 7 pounds. The new Italian Stallion Beretta APX pulls smooth and breaks crisp at just 5 pounds. Okay, so lots of people say the slide looks huge on the APX, but when you actually measure it, it's only one tenth of an inch wider than the Glock slide. However, it's the exact same width as the slide on the SIG P320. The grip on the APX is also significantly thinner than the Glock, which gives it that good feel. And at their narrowest point, it is about the same as the SIG. However, the APX and the SIG have very different feels to their grips. While I like them both, I have to say I like the grip on the APX a bit more than the SIG. And let's just face facts, a stock Glock pretty much feels like you're grabbing a 2x4. Shooting the APX is awesome, the grip feels amazing, the trigger is excellent, the accuracy is good, and like I said before, we had absolutely zero malfunctions in 1,000 rounds. 
When you shoot the APX, you'll immediately notice that the muzzle flip and felt recoil are extremely low and the gun is very flat shooting. This of course makes the APX very enjoyable to shoot. It's kind of hard to say exactly what is making this happen, but I'll share with you why I think it is. First off, the grip and trigger like I said are great, but what I think sets this gun above some of the rest is how the beaver tail is cut. If you notice the back of the gun here, you'll see that it has a very low bore axis. With the way the beaver tail is cut, a good portion of the gun is actually sitting on top of your hand. If you think about that, this feature on its own would physically lower muzzle flip. Another feature that I think helps with the overall shootability of the APX is the frame rails. The rails in this gun are significantly longer than the four contact points that you find in the Glock or the SIG P320. This gives the frame more contact surface with the slide and should naturally help the gun with accuracy and give it a more quality, tighter feel. Some of the greatest guns of all time like the SIG P210 and CZ75 have full length slide rails. All in all, these features combined with everything else the APX has to offer make for an amazing shooting pistol that is a great size and has impressive capacity for its size. The APX will be a very strong contender in the crowded striker fired service pistol market, but if you are in the market for something along these lines, you owe it to yourself to take a look at the Beretta APX. It has a lot to offer right out of the box. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like, share it on your social media, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you live in the central Alabama area, be sure to stop by and see Shane and my other friends at Birmingham Pistol Wholesale. Also, be sure to check out Gun Prime. Gun Prime is a great website for the firearms enthusiasts. They have all kinds of stuff and always have great deals going on. Be sure to check them out. I'll have a link in the description. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm always posting stuff there for upcoming reviews and trying to get feedback from you on what you guys want to see.